Mm. Prince is in a dancing mood today. As you can see. Uh, because we're here at Disney Springs to do one of her favorite things. Try Eat. new food. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. <laughs> but we're here to try out... Uh, Jaleo. Jaleo. It's a new... Uh, Spanish. Spanish restaurant that opened up right across from Splitsville and um, the far side of the AMC movie theater. Haven't heard anything about it. I'm not really sure what to expect, but um, it looks pretty on the outside. Yeah. Little backgrounds back here. It's been nice. fun to watch them construct this building too. It's very like architecturally cool. It still reminds me of a pine cone though. I can see that. Mm. Or an onion. Or it's something. An onion. Something you peel. Yeah. Mm, well, we'll see. We're gonna go check it out. See yeah. what we got. We're gonna try out some uh, vegan Ooh. versus non-vegan food, and uh, we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. Mm. You're the girl. Salty. It's supposed to have anchovies, and I could see. 
see how it would go with an anchovy, but I actually like it. And I hate olives, so yeah, that's a good dish. That's the traditional olive. Which I love but rarely eat. Just needs a martini. Three out of five plus. So this is lettuce with endive and almonds. No cheese. Mmm. This has got a great like tangy, sweet, and textured all together. This is really good. I might start eating this at home. It's amazing. This is interesting. I like trying new things. Here we go. Like pre meal appetizer. 
It's not my favorite thing we've had so far. So far my favorite thing has been the gazpacho, but I'll eat this. This is our ensalada de Gisela. It's going to be a warm Brussels sprout salad that consists of grapes and apples. Mm. And then here I have another salad. It's going to be our sauteed spinach. It's called espinacas de la catalana. Catalana means that it has pine nuts and raisins in it. And then it also has a pine nut praline sleeve on the bottom. These are going to be our patatas arrugadas with mojo, mojo verde, and mojo rojo. These are salted cooked potatoes with two different kinds of mojo, one with cilantro and one with pimentón. Chef actually recommends to pinch the potato and dip by hand and eat it kind of like the chips. So I'm starting with the Brussels sprout salad. are not earthy at all. It's beautifully seasoned. I think this is my number two favorite next to the gazpacho. That's delicious. The grapes set it off. Compliments 
sauce, potatoes. There's a nice smoky flavor, nice and deep. Mm. I can put that sauce on everything. Each of the sauces is a solid four. Potatoes on their own, two and a half. Only because I don't like super salty things, but the sauce helps with it. Definitely don't eat it without the sauce. Than the, the grilled onions and peppers would. 
Like honestly. You could almost spread this on bread as like a bruschetta. Would it almost taste like? Three to five o'clock. over here by Splitsville and AMC. Um, before we talk about the food, the service in this place is Amazing. ridiculous. Amazing. Now, a basic greeting at the door. Way more um, than that. Hostess to the table. Super cool. Normal. You get to the table and the waiter treats you like your royal The table. waiter's was amazing. We had Raphael. Ask for Raphael. Ask for Raphael. He is the shit. Uh, recommendations on everything we wanted to eat. Walk us through the whole Just menu. Just Raphael. Um, we tried a little bit of everything. Yes. Um, majority of it was good. It's a long yes. dinner, like two and a yes. half hours. A lot of salt. We had a tasting menu, yeah. but really good. Yeah. Most of the food was extremely good. Yeah. The gazpacho soup. Oh yeah, get that. Both of our favorites by far. You can get that at the quick service location here at Pepe's. So they have a, they have a quick service next door yes. that serves some of the menu. Yes. Overall, I give the whole experience a, a four to five claws. I would agree with those claws. I'll definitely come back here again. Absolutely. There's still more stuff in the menu you want to try? Yes. I want that paella. Princess loved it. They have a vegan paella. I didn't get to try. I'm going to try that next time. And even with everything we ate, it's leftovers. So it's definitely due for round two. Oh, yeah. But definitely come here, check this place out. Um, vegan or non vegan, they have a ton of options. Oh, the yeah. chef is more than willing to accommodate any of your dietary cool. needs. Definitely worth it. Um, don't wait to come out now. They, they said they're going to have reservations Go. up within the week, week, they think. Yeah. Well, until next time. Be sure to subscribe. Like, comment on that. Oh, my God.